Steve Blaine. <laughs> well, Therese, talk about today, if you will. You've uh, been in here as a leader the last two days, and you were cautiously optimistic, but realistic, too. So I don't need to say anything to that. That uh, sums it up. The problem is you like to talk, so we're here. Actually, um, Cal came in and swam tonight and this morning. Uh, it was their best day. Um, they made it their best day. It wasn't programmed to be their best day. They did a super job when they had to. I, I, in, a, in the purest sense, I enjoyed it, but otherwise I didn't like it very much. What slipped away from your guys, Eddie? Pardon me? You mentioned how Cal performed very well, but what slipped away for your guys to be able to give Cal um, the opportunity to move forward? It, it was them more than us. We got a couple nights tonight that that never helps. The ninth place is called the death seat because usually all you can do is move lower. Eighth place is safe city. So we got a couple nights in. We got a ninth the first day. We we lived and died by our ninths. Can be a lot of a lot of different points. Were there a couple of swimmers with whom you were particularly proud tonight? Well, we we had some great swims. John Murray, who last year made the meet only as a relay swimmer, came in here this year and made the top eight in two individual events. That just doesn't happen. And that's not me, that's because of his commitment and his changes and his work ethic. Those are kind of things you like to see. Or a Will Lacone, who's a freshman that comes in, scores in three events the first year. Or Jack Conger, who scores, makes three top eights his first year. There are not many freshmen that do that. Did Jack meet your expectations, or perhaps more fairly, the nation's expectations with all the uh, hype and uh, justified, frankly? Um, Actually, Jack surpassed my expectations in workouts, and he got to this meet, and I didn't get him right for this meet, very simply. He's so much better than that, and he's done the work. Somewhere in the next three or four months, we're going to see the result of the work he did. Are there some changes you'd like to see him make for next year? Maybe even change events for him if necessary? He, he might need to change coaches. No, that was, he did everything I asked plus some. Actually, I'd like him to drop the plus some because I ask a lot. And it's hard for a freshman to adjust to the workload. Eddie, did y'all exceed expectations, though, realistically? Your expectations? Well, we're from the University of Texas, so we we expect to be at battling for top three year in, year out, and have a legitimate shot for first. And we did. Um, the Most of the stuff I read, and I try to read one or two every year, said that we would be fourth to eighth. And I knew I'd tell the guys, whatever you read, cut it in half, will never be what they predict. We always want to exceed what anybody says about us. Coming into today, it sounded like, even though you had that six point lead, didn't have much of a shot to win overall because of the number of competitors. How did you? Well, actually, after the, the morning swims, we were in pretty good shape uh, with diving the way it turned out if things had stayed the same. But to Cal's credit, they had a miler get second, which is a great swim for him. And then everybody they had moved up. And if they move up and you move down, it can make a 30 or 40 point difference Talk in about one day. Talk about Chris Hickson. You'd mentioned he hadn't done any practice on platform, yet he comes in and finishes seventh. Uh, I'm assuming that was a triumph for him. It was. And it was a special that uh, we had three divers do it. One had been hurt, and he hadn't been, he's a good tower diver, hadn't been on tower for seven weeks. And 
Mark jumped up there and did a real nice job. And Michael is just, you can't say enough about somebody like that. He is very talented, but yet he can put it on the line. And when it's on the line, he's one of those guys that come through when it's on the line. Your motto for swimming, it probably best summed up by getting better. Um, Texas needs to do what to get better, given that you already have lofty expectations, uh, justifiably for the team. The equation for success: you got to have some talent, you got to work hard, and the one that part of the equation, parents don't like, swimmers don't like, coaches don't like, is it takes time, and it's different for everybody. So you just got to. Each year, I try to make the program a little bit harder, a little bit different. Earlier you said you read a couple of prognostications at the start of the year, fourth or eighth. You always expect to be competing for top three. You get second. You happy with that? <laughs> you know, I'll probably know tomorrow or the next day because I know we, uh, we very much surpassed what it looked like we could do individually. And it takes a bunch of good individuals to add up the team score. That's what they did. We we had a we had a great meet. Did you feel this coming in? Because I mean, when we talked, what Tuesday, you were we were talking about that it would take something really special, and they and well, they had it in. First two days we were really special, and we got to lead. And today Cal was special. Team of the meet though was Georgia. They were incredible. They were fast at everything they did. All right, I think you've got somebody important coming in. <laughs>